Hello there, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this fun review slash mini tutorial of the new Sigma Beauty and the Beast collection. When I received this PR package in the mail, I just could not believe how beautiful it was. I opened up the box and I'll put some clips up on the screen here so you can see it, but it just was so well done from the outer packaging to the rose petals that were in the box. And then the packaging of each of the individual products I think is just beautiful. So we're gonna get into swatches. I'm gonna give you mini reviews and then I'm going to give you a tutorial on this look using all of these products here. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. So as I mentioned at the beginning, I did receive this in PR from Sigma. Now I haven't gotten any PR from Sigma in probably about a year and randomly they sent this to me and I'm so glad they did. Now I have been a huge fan of many Sigma products and purchased almost all of their eyeshadow palettes myself. So that just lets you know that I'm not doing this video because I got it in PR, but I really do feel like they put out quality products, makeup products, but also their brushes. And if you've seen any of my brush videos, you will know Sigma brushes were some of the first brushes that I ever bought as far as the higher end brushes. So I love Sigma products. So I wanna get that out there because some people say, oh, you got it for free. That's why you're doing this. That's why you love it. No. I'll give you my honest opinion as we go along. All right, so let's start off. In this collection, there are multiple parts. So first, let's talk about the brush set. Now they're dirty because I just used them to put together this look here, but you get five brushes in the set and as far as I know, I think a couple of these are new to the Sigma collection. I don't have these brushes in my collection and other handles or anything, but they are super heavy duty weight. I mean, they're so luxurious feeling. And what I love, not only does it have the Beauty and the Beast insignia here, but on the ferrule, on this metal part right here, they have inscribed, engraved, like a character from the movie. I just, the attention to detail in this whole collection is amazing. And I'll go through each one of these brushes as I apply my products today. So this comes as a full complete set. The next part of this collection, let's talk about the cheek palette. Now the packaging on this and the eyeshadow palette are the same. I just think it's beautiful. I love the colors and it's flat and it is cardboard, but it's sturdy cardboard and it does have a very strong magnetic closure. There's a mirror in the top here and these three shades I'll put across the screen, the swatches. And so two blushes, the one blush is basically matte and then the other one is a satin finish. And then we have the shimmer highlight in the center. Then we have three lip products. These are minis of their hydrating lip cream. Now, I had never tried these before, and these are surprisingly good. They have a lot of full-on pigment, so it's almost like a lipstick with a gloss, but they have enough tack to where they don't slip and slide, and I've not had any issues with them bleeding past my lip line. I do use a lip liner and my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This has been on my lips for quite a while, and you can see there's still a good amount of sheen and gloss. It's not super slippery or tacky, but I just think these are beautiful. Now I'll put on the screen the three swatches. I feel like the colors are pretty close, at least in the tube, but then you can see on the swatches, they are different. So at first I was like, are those different colors? And you can see there on camera, there are differences in the color tones, but they all have a neutral quality about them. So I think they're very appropriate for every day. And then the last part of the collection, of course, is the eyeshadow palette, my favorite. I'll talk about that more later. And then it comes with a full length mirror and the dual ended brush. I love the brushes that they include. And these are their full size, like their full quality brushes from their regular line. So you're not getting some cheapy throwaway brush in here. This by itself is probably worth about $25 or more. And then you have the eyeshadows in this palette. So here are the colors. I'll put up on the screen the swatches. And at first it looks like kind of a boring neutral palette, but as I was swatching it and I've been using this, I've taken note that actually there are some really fun twists 
and nuances to this palette. Now you do have some really good basic neutrals and the browns in this palette, at first you can think, oh, they overdid it with the browns, but every brown has a different tone and depth of color. So these two, we've got the cooler and then the warmer, and this is super, super dark. And then this one can really, really pack a punch of warmth and depth. And then you have this one. I played with this the other day. I did kind of a really warm, fiery look. And I mean, I just, these are all so pretty. And then you have some unique shimmers. This one, as you saw on the swatch, it's more of like, has a little bit of a duochrome. Now the, the textures of the shimmers in this palette vary between full on metallic like this one. So you can see that has just really full metallic finish and color to this one, which at first I was like, oh, it's kind of flaky, but you'll see in action how I use this. This is one of those kind of topper type shades, but it's beautiful and it works so well. All right, with all that being said, I'm going to now jump into the tutorial of this look and then I'll finish out this video with my final thought. Okay, let me catch you up real quick on what I have on my face so far. I applied the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and the Infallible Fresh Wear, and I used the first brush in the collection. It is the Angled F46, the Angled Foundation Brush. As it says, it is angled. The bristles are very densely packed, but there is quite a bit of give in those bristles. So you'll see as I'm applying, that allows you to really kind of distribute a thinner layer of your foundation all over your face. And then you can go back in with the denser part of the brush and pounce in areas where you need a little more coverage or like for me over the pore area and just press in the foundation there. I don't feel like this brush necessarily gives me full coverage with my foundation, but I actually love this brush for applying cream contour cream bronzer because it's the perfect angle to just sit right in your cheekbones. So let's just go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna use a little bit of the NARS Laguna bronzer. This is the shade number two. I hope this isn't too dark for me. I'm kind of lightening up on my sunless tanner for fall and winter. Do you see how easily that applied? It gave me kind of a nice line there but then because of the angle of the brush, it kind of naturally shears it out as it goes up the cheek. And then you can take the top part of the brush if you want to add more bronzer or any more color kind of on the top part of the cheek, and then you can turn it and blend it in. So very nice, soft brush and has multiple uses. Okay, now we get to my favorite part of the collection, the eyeshadow palette. It's so beautiful. I know I already showed this in the introduction, but the shades on the inside, I was debating of whether I wanted to do something in this vicinity, something maybe colorful, but then I thought about how I have really been enjoying this palette and I looked at the inside of that PR box and that look is my inspiration for today. I thought, let's recreate that look. It's beautiful and it encompasses, it uses a larger majority of this palette. But if you want more looks with this palette, let me know because there are some really fun options, but nothing too out there. So I think you can have color with this palette but still feel comfortable going out and about during the day with it. Now, that palette does not have a brow bone highlight shade, so I'm gonna dip into the Sigma Ambiance. This is the seven pan palette, and I'm gonna dip into this shade right here, and I'm gonna try to just use the brushes in this collection. We'll see how that goes, right? So I'm gonna use the E55 from Sigma. This is a brush that's been a part of their collection forever. It was one of the first brushes the shaped brushes that I purchased. So I'm going to just dip into that matte cream shade, put this under the brow bone. I love Sigma shadows. I feel like they have really come a long way and I own almost all <laughs> of the Sigma palette. So all right, I'm gonna go in now with the brush that comes in the palette and use this end. This is the E38, it's the diffused crease brush. And we're gonna start off in the crease with just a very light layer of the shade Cogsworth. <laughs> and I'm going to just put this through the crease and blend up towards the brow bone highlight shade. Now 
Now we may come back and add a little more, bring that up a little higher, but I don't want to go quite as high as the inspiration picture because I personally like to have a little bit of brightness under the brow there. So now let's switch to this shade right here. It's called Runaway. I'm going to use the E24. Now I've had the E25 before, and this one though seems a little bit longer and slightly more pinched. So let's try this one. And again, I'm going in with this shade right here, Runaway. And these brushes are just so, so soft. And these shadows, I mean, look at that. I barely tap my brush in and there is not a ton of powder. I mean, hardly any visible particles in the eyeshadow pan. So they're soft, but pigmented, but still densely packed. So you don't have to worry about the shadows just fluffing all over the place. All right, this look is not very winged out. It's more of a rounded eye look. So that is what I'm gonna do. So you can see just that one dip in that darker shade. Whoa, the impact that that has. Oh, I love these shadows. Now, before we add any more darkness on the outer corner, let's go in with our shimmer colors. So we're going to start with this one. This is the more kind of coppery bronzy shade. So it has some kind of orange tones. Don't let that scare you though. I have really been enjoying making these colors work for me. So normally this kind of color would really scare me, <laughs> but we're not going to leave it here. So hang with me. Now we're going to go in with the shade. So that shade was Little Town. Now we're going to go in with the shade Be Our Guest. And this is just a gorgeous kind of neutral gold shade, almost a taupey gold. So we're going to go right over the top of that color, right in the center and going towards the inner corner. And you can see it just neutralizes it enough to where it's not quite as orange. All right, and then I'm gonna wipe off my finger really well. And next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this shade right here, which is Belle. And I will go back later after I do concealer and touch up the inner corner here a little bit. But this one is a smoother, more yellow gold. But I think that the next shade that we go in with, this one, needs this as a base under it. So we're going to go in now with the shade that's called Winter's Night. This is a great topper shade. So not a lot of pigmentation, but over the top of these shadows, it just makes it all come to life. It's beautiful. Now it's hard to tell in the inspiration picture if they went ahead and brought in a little bit of this olive shade. I'm going to save that and instead we're going to darken this up just a little bit with this shadow right here, which is called Forbidden. And let's use the other end of that dual ended brush. This is the medium sweeper. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of this shade here, top off my brush and just kind of push this into my lash line into that outer corner. And then I'll take my brush and go back in with more of Runaway. And just use this to kind of mesh the outer corner colors over those shimmer shades and just darken them up a little bit. I'll flip the brush around, use that to blend everything here. On the lower lash line, I'm going to start off with Urban Decay Double Life Eyeliner. And I'm just going to use this as a base for our shadows to grab onto. Just adds a little longer wear time. And then next, we're going to go in with a brush that I am so, so excited that they have included in this set. This is the E15 Flat Definer. I've never owned a brush like this from Sigma, so I don't know if this is new to their collection, but it is super soft and this is my ideal liner brush for the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go in first with this shade, Runaway. 
And the reason why I love it, not only because it's soft, but because this allows you to just stamp that shadow right into the lash line and into your liner without it getting in your eyes. Because I wear contact, hard contacts, just one little flake of shadow and it's all over. <laughs> so this really helps me be able to keep it under control. All right, and then we're gonna go in with this coppery shade. Let's just do that. I can't tell what the inspiration picture, what she's wearing on her lower lash line because she's looking down. So we'll just do what we want to do, what we think looks good. Then I'll wipe off that brush and I'm gonna use a little bit of this forbidden shade on the upper lash line as our liner today. We're gonna to try and keep this to fewer products. <laughs> just stick with the eyeshadow, right? I'm just gonna press that brush into the lash line. All right, I applied some concealer and powdered my face. Now we're gonna go in with the cheek palette and these shades are so beautiful. I'm gonna use the Powder Sculpt brush. This brush is so luxurious feeling. And I love the curvature on this brush. I use a similar brush like this, but it's bigger, like a fan brush for my highlighter. But I thought this could be perfect for not only blush, you could use it for contour, use it for bronzer and highlighter. So since we already have our contour on, let's go in with blush. I'm gonna show you first this shade right here, which is Beauty Within. And this shade has a little bit of some, I wanna say shimmer. It, it's more of a satin finish blush. And it's definitely warmer in tone. You can see how pretty that is. It does almost give off the look of bronzer on the cheeks. So I think you could, and I'm gonna try to actually just use this, no bronzer today. I know some of you are like, hallelujah. But I really like how this brush just helps you kind of angle your cheekbones, angle your blush up towards the temples. Okay, and then because our inspiration picture has a little more of a pink cheek, we're gonna go in with this now. And this blush is called Something Sweet. Have sweet cheeks here. <laughs> so I'm gonna just tap this. I have used this cheek palette several times and these blushes are pretty pigmented, but they blend out easily. So just wanna go in though with a light hand if you are fairer skin, but if you have deep skin, these will build very nicely. Isn't that just so pretty? I mean, effortless, really. All right, I'm gonna flip the brush over and I'm going to go in now with this highlight. Now this highlight can be pretty intense, so I'm gonna try to go in with a light hand on this brush. Okay, I think the brush is helping diffuse it a little bit, but if you go in with a denser brush on the tops of your cheeks and this highlighter, you could get pretty intense light. So pretty. I really like this brush of an all-in-one type of brush for sure. Okay, let's add a little inner corner highlight. I'm just gonna use my finger like always. I'm gonna start off with the shade and then add a little bit of this one over it. So first with Belle, you can see that's pretty yellow on its own. And then I'll wipe off my finger and go in with Winter's Night. And that just, oh brings it to life, whoa, and obviously intensifies it. Now it's just time to curl the lashes, apply mascara, and then we'll do our lips. <laughs> okay, 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 pussy. Did you get smashed by the box? Okay, Miss Gracie decided to join us for our lip application. So it looks to me like the model is wearing the lightest shade in these cream lip colors. They are beautiful, nice shine, good pigmentation. So I'm gonna start off though first with a lip liner. This is Urban Decay Liar. And then we'll go in with the shade. I can't read it at the moment, so I'll put it across the screen. All right, so I fixed my hair and I did film a tutorial on it. It's just kind of a fun little twist, but here is the finished makeup look. 
And overall, I think this collection is beautiful. Not only do I think the person who loves Beauty and the Beast as a movie would love it, but if you're a makeup lover and you love high quality products, I think you would really enjoy this. The eyeshadow palette, as I mentioned, as I used it, this is definitely my favorite. I like the mix of colors. It's not overly colorful, but you do have some options. It's not just neutrals. So I think this is going to be a well-loved, well-used palette. And the cheek colors that they included, I think work well, whether you want something more neutral or that little pop of pink. And the highlighter is not too light. So I feel like this can work. If you're super fair, this might be a little bit too much yellow on your skin tone, but you could blend it into your blush a little bit lower on your cheeks. And I think it would still look beautiful. The lip colors, I've never tried these cream colors before and I really like them. They're very comfortable and they don't bleed past the lip line. As long as you use them with a lip liner, they're comfortable, they're hydrating, and I have found them to last for a really good amount of time. They're not as long lasting as like a liquid lipstick, but they do last well. And of course the brushes, these are beautiful, high quality. I love the brushes that they included and this bag, oh my goodness. It's huge. So this is a really high quality bag, not only for your brushes, but you can fit a lot of makeup. This whole collection fits in this bag. So really, really enjoyed this entire collection. So if you're looking for a gift for yourself or somebody else on your list, definitely check the links down below. I'll also have the other products that I mentioned in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.